Hey folks, Jamie Katz, hunting on a budget, Texas here. Uh, I was I was gonna do a video on another firearm or go out and check the food plot out and do something with that, but I decided to sit here in my kitchen and do something that I thought was a little more important and a little more fitting for this weekend. Uh, you know, we got Father's Day coming up this weekend. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of super dads out there, and uh, they need to be appreciated, congratulated, and uh, honored on this day, just like we do on Mother's Day with the moms and uh, all the other special days, uh, Veterans Day, so on and so forth. But there's something else also that's very important. There's a lot of fathers that are not able to be around their kids on this special day. And their kids are without them, wanting them, missing them. And the fathers are struggling as well. These are military fathers. Um, let me let me go off track for a moment. Let me show you this here. This is, this is a fidget spinner, right? Everybody's seen these now. This is the big craze right now. Oh, what an amazing little trinket. You know, it's uh, great for the kids. I guess adults like them. I think they're kind of cool. They're all right. Uh, I don't carry one, but I, I fidget with it occasionally here in the house. But um, anyhow, uh, let me let me pose a question out there. How many people in North Korea own one of these? Probably not many. I, I Maybe someone's been there and they could speak with a little more education than I do as far as how it is there, but... I would guess that not many. How many uh, people in North Korea can act like a overprivileged, snot-nosed little punk brat and burn the national flag? I doubt very many have ever done it, if even done it and gotten away with it. Uh, I'm not giving any props to North Korea for not allowing them to burn the flag. I don't want to live there. What I'm saying is these American heroes that are unable to be with their kids, and there's men and women that are deployed right now, but now I'm talking about the men because it's Father's Day weekend coming up. So these these American heroes that are away from their children, maybe they're in another state, maybe they're overseas. But if you see this video, You don't have to see the video. Just have some pride in your country. Go up to these people. Wish them a happy Father's Day. Shake their hand. Thank them for their contribution and their sacrifice to the freedoms that we have. Not because they're free, but because they continually fight and defend them from all comers. All right? Wish them a happy Father's Day. Shake their hand. Buy them a meal, if nothing else. Sit down with them and talk to them. Share your story. Hear theirs. Make sure they understand that they do make a difference. My son is in the Navy. He'll be back next week for a few days. I know what it's like this weekend to be a father with a son in the Navy deployed that I can't see. I miss him. Imagine what it's like for the children who are missing their dads that are deployed, and imagine what it's like for the dads who can't be there with their kids on this great fine day coming up as well. So again, as always, uh, I love America. I hope you do too. If you don't, turn off this video and go away because I don't want you to watch it, and I don't want you to have anything to do with me or my life. Uh, if you want to go out and burn a flag, remember why you're able to do that. I don't think it's right, but remember why you're able to do that. You're able to do it for the soldiers that defend this country and defend your right and your freedoms. The very people that you say are hurting you, the very people that you're burning the uniforms of. So I don't want this to go into a big political thing. All I'm saying is go out there, 
and tell them folks thank you. You don't need Father's Day to do that. You don't need Mother's Day to do that. Tell them thank you. Shake their hand, buy them a meal. God bless you folks. God bless America. Have a great weekend.